Christmas came early for me. And boys, I am still recovering from my injury. But I got an early Christmas present. Well, in actual reality, I went to the taco shop today and I purchased a lot of new lures for the new season. And a lot of bigger lures than I currently own and some pretty expensive ones. So, to a good angler. Oh, sorry Ben, I'm afraid this is not for you. Ah, uh, he's gonna bait the shit out of me. Right, so I need to open the box. So uh, let's see what the Christmas stocking has. <gasps> a knife! Don't really need the knife for that. Oh, I actually forgot about that, you know. All the tape is off. Let's have our first official look. Oh, oh. Uh, let's get a, a better angle and let's see what's inside. So uh, the first thing we got, let's start off small. We got a small little perch western swim. Next I got some just dead bit traces. Just got one. Got some size 14 roach hooks. I have a quite a bit of roach gear in here as well, you'll see why. A little uh, method feeder, little ground bait feeder. Some split shots. Next we got some... I've been waiting to get these for ages, you know. These are some Savage Gear, Last Meter, Core Screw wires. So yeah, I've been really looking for some of them because I always get the leaded versions. I've decided to go for a different one and I'm going to use the Savage Gear uh, weight ball clips. And these are 7.5 gram, you'll see why I got them quite heavy. Right, we're left with the big stuff. We got two wee little... Let's try one minute. Some Savage Gear, Last Meter. One out, 23 kilo stinger hooks for the shads, and these were seven euro for my good friends over at Wild. They're quite big hooks, but you'll see where I got some pretty big lures, so yeah, I only got the one for them. And then I also got these, this trail. I literally saw these in the shop and I just had to, had to get them. It's basically just a stinger rig with a built in weight to the screw head, which is class. We're gonna start off simple. I am, um, I got myself a large. Savage Gear Rat because it was only 15 euro and the small ones I think were going for 20 so I said I'd just go for the big one. I normally don't fish big top bars, I like to use small top bars because I like to get numbers. But I said I'd try a bigger top bar lure to see if I could pull out some bigger fish. So yeah, 3D Rat. Next I got some Strike Pro Pig Shad Juniors. I got, what colour is this? Emerald Herring. These are 60 grams. I uh, wanted to get some bigger shads, I and mean, I've always been told they work out. They are a little bit more pricey than other shads, but there could be a reason for it. I'm not too sure. Then again, Strike Pro is sort of a, um, a premium lure brand. Now, next we got another pig shad, but it's a much, much bigger one. This is the... Uh, how many grams is this? This is a, I'm going to say, a 90 to 100 gram for just the one shad. And this was 13 euro for the one, so yeah, it is quite expensive. The main reason I got this, it's literally the biggest shad they had. And it's in the blue and silver colour, I'm going to call it. Just a roach colour. I can't wait to see what that's like. And that's why I got the big hooks, the big one out. And this is actually the last thing in the box, but it's the most expensive. And it's actually the second small sliver in the box. This is the Strike Pro Murus Mouse, Murus Mouse, whatever. This is the mini one. They had the larger one for the exact price, but I said I'd just go for the smaller one to try it out. And it was, it was 40 euro for a lure that is, for like a, a store-bought lure, that is a lot. We'll have to see if that's worth it. I've always been told these are catching fish. And uh, I was talking to the lads in the shop a little while ago, and there was a lad that was using one of these. I don't know which one it was. He caught two 20s in two weeks. So that's what they're doing. I am in. So uh, let's get the angle changed up and have a look at these lures. Right, so we're going to unbox these lures. Start first, we're starting off with is the pig shad. Let's open the big one. Just see what it's like. I mean, that's a lovely colour. Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh, it's got some oil or something on it. Lovely design on it. Look at that. Alright, uh, we'll leave them in the box for now and then we'll take them back out. Once we get these rigs and stuff open. Sure, why not? We'll open the, the wee rat next. That's obviously the best colour. Nice red belly, the pike can see that. Nice rubber tail. I think everyone knows at this point what the rat is like. It's amazing looking yolk. 
Class. I know the small one was a killer, so that big one's definitely going to be interesting. Next we got the question swim. Let's give her a wee open. I think I've been nice as I like, but... Lovely perch for These are the more updated colours. I don't know if you remember the very old swims, but uh, these new updated colours are lovely. This is the sinking version and it's got a really nice rattle to it. So yeah, might as well open the other pink shells while they're at it. I actually like this package nicer because you can actually keep them in here if you don't want to use them. Different, uh, still got the smell but it's not as um, oily as the big one. But uh, that is a lovely colour. Nice orange belly to it, that's going to add some strike indication. I've got two of them. I'm going to keep them there until we get the rigs. Right, we're going to open the dead bait rig next and then we'll get to, to these. Al cock. Al cock, whatever you call it. Nice. Oh yeah, that's going to get some good fish. And um, we're going to get started on the old rigs. So uh, we're going to open these corkscrew wires first. And they have beads with them for some reason. Uh, no purpose for the beads, I think they just give them, give them to you spare beads. These are the largest ones because I have some pretty big lures. Lovely, they're going to work really well with the shads. So we're just keeping them there for now until we get everything else out. Got the old savage gear ready. I'm going to open this first. Gee, hmm. yeah, it already has a, a corkscrew yoke in it. That's handy. That's nice. That's a really, really heavy trace. Do you expect good quality from savage gear? And I really like those hooks. I'm going to. Break it on to the pig shad, uh, the big one. So we're just going to put it into the middle. We want to make sure we do this right. Yeah. <laughs> right, so that's in. Like so. I mean, that rig is perfect for that shad. We're going to open up the leads next. Look at them, boys. Savage, you always use these paper clips. Get the one out. Nice. Oh, look, the sparkles on my hand from the shads. And then it's just literally a clip. So you just clip that onto your trace. So I want mine on this. So if I just clip that on, that's it. That's actually all it takes. And now that's not going anywhere. Oh, I can't have to use that. I'm going to be using it tomorrow. Next, we have the Fox Rage ones. <laughs> Jesus, it's open already. It's literally the same rig as the Savage Gear one, just different hooks, and uh, they use the weight there at the bottom. Really like this so far. And now the last thing, of course, is the most expensive lure I've currently ever bought, the Morris Mouse. Got these two little wires that hold it in. Right, so that's free. Uh, like something from the bottom be easier. Boxes, man. Oh, here, where's me? My, uh, fitting knife. Oh, and now it comes out the bottom. That's it. Oh, it feels... It's like a, it's a fly, and then it just goes down to a soft lower. That is a strange lower. I think there's like little pins, yeah, look. There's a little pin there that holds in the hook there to this body and then this hook is fixed into the head of the Merce Mouse and this is actually just a big brushy material here with eyes glued on and that's a piece of wood. I like it but I really have to test it to see if it's worth the money. Small enough hook so they didn't go too big. Uh, I might add one of the um, weights because I think this sinks really slow and since I'm fishing a flooded river I'm going to have to get this down to the bottom, so we'll uh, figure that out. But, uh, yeah, that is everything that we got. Well, boys, that is everything for this video. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it. I got some lovely big lures. And I have a little announcement. This will be out on Christmas Eve, and then on New Year's Day, or the day before, I will release my 2021 recap. And also, I'll be taking a wee break after New Year's. So, anyway, boys, I will see you soon enough. So, anyways, look. Okay.